And now to the latest on a murder mystery. A Phoenix man, Benjamin Anderson, was found dead after he was reported missing on New Year's Eve. We brought it to you last night as breaking news, a series of bizarre events leading investigators from Phoenix to New River, but not leading to any answers. True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney just hosted a podcast on the case. She is here to break down what we know so far. Brianna. Yeah, Jamie, this is strange. Authorities are staying extremely tight lipped on any details about this investigation other than confirming Anderson was found dead. But there's an odd timeline of events that unfold during the search for Anderson that play a key part in this case. 8 a.m. December 31st, New Year's Eve morning, Benjamin Anderson tells his friend Daniel Stahoviak he needs to skip brunch because he's tired from driving a lot. About 6 o'clock p.m., his aunt called me and uh, said that she hadn't heard from him, and he, and he cares for his aunt. Um, she lives in Sun City. He lives here in Central Phoenix, and she was concerned about his, his, his whereabouts. 7 to 8 p.m., Daniel goes over to his condo and doesn't find his friend, but does notice Anderson left his credit cards and cash. He says there was no sign of any forced entry. 10 p.m. that night, Daniel and his friends are able to contact Lexus. They ping Anderson's car, leading them to a Super 8 motel off I-17 in Dunlap, but police are unable to locate the vehicle. 12 a.m., now New Year's Day, Daniel and friends start looking on their own. They locate Anderson's Lexus in the parking garage of a nearby Sheraton and make eye contact with three unidentified people with the car who then take off in it. 12.20 a.m., those three people lead Daniel and his friends on a pursuit. When they turn the wrong way down a frontage road and turn their lights off, Anderson's friends say they backed off out of danger. Between 3 and 4 a.m., Lexus provides a final location area before the tracking device was turned off. Daniel and his friends find Anderson's torched Lexus in the parking lot of UEI College off the I-17. At this point, um, the car had been reported stolen. So now we have a stolen police report. Um, we have a missing persons report. And uh, we noticed that he has a duffel bag, um, a unique duffel bag. It was in the trunk of the vehicle, the burned out vehicle, uh, obviously destroyed. Um, he also had a, a lamp that he had purchased three days ago from Costco. It was in the trunk of the vehicle, so we, the, we knew it was his. And on Saturday and Sunday, friends searched for Anderson, but just last night, January 3rd, MCSO confirmed they found Anderson's body in the desert on New Year's Eve, about 30 minutes north of where his burned car was found. It's a case that has obviously taken a number of bizarre twists and turns. And in our brand new episode of the True Crime Arizona podcast, we go into much more detail of this timeline of events and what his friends theorize could have been a factor in his disappearance. You can find the True Crime Arizona podcast wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Just look for the blue handprint thumbnail. In the newsroom tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's family. Brianna, it's really something to hear how much work his friends did in the hours so after much. his disappearance trying to find him. That the fact that they're the ones who found the car. Uh, it's a fascinating story. We're so sad that it turned out this way. Brianna Whitney in our newsroom.